3 Supplements People Over 50 Must Never Take Today, I'm going to discuss two important topics. First, we'll dive into the supplements you should avoid if you're over 50 years old. Then, I'll tell you which supplements you should actually be taking as you age. Let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to look at, as I mentioned, are the supplements you should steer clear of. Now, I want to emphasize that this isn't just my opinion this is based on scientific research and expert recommendations. The first supplement I want to talk about is calcium. It's not recommended to take calcium in supplement form. Here's why, studies have shown, especially in women who were given calcium supplements to treat osteoporosis, that it increased their risk of heart attack and stroke. Why? Because this calcium can accumulate in the arteries and even in the kidneys. It's a classic case of too much of a good thing becoming a bad thing. So, what's the alternative? It's best to get your calcium through your diet. Increase your intake of green leafy vegetables and nuts. Your body absorbs calcium more efficiently from these sources, and it doesn't produce those nasty side effects we want to avoid. Next on our list of supplements to avoid is iron. Now, you might be thinking, but isn't iron essential? You're right, it is. But here's the catch, our bodies don't have an efficient mechanism to get rid of excess iron. This means it can build up over time, and that buildup can cause some serious damage to your liver, heart, and pancreas. But that's not all. Excess iron can actually interfere with how your body absorbs other essential minerals like zinc and copper. It's like iron is the bully in the playground of your body, pushing other important nutrients out of the way. And if that wasn't enough, excess iron can generate free radicals. These little troublemakers cause cellular damage through oxidative stress, which can increase your risk of chronic diseases like cancer and cardiovascular disease. Not exactly what we're aiming for when we take supplements, is it? Here's the thing, your body is pretty smart. It regulates iron absorption based on what it needs. When your iron levels are where they should be, your intestines reduce iron absorption. It's a natural balancing act. But when you start popping iron supplements without good reason, you're throwing that balance out of whack. So, unless you've got a healthcare professional telling you that you need iron supplements based on specific tests showing you're deficient, it's best to steer clear. Taking iron when you don't need it can cause more harm than good. The third supplement on our avoid list is vitamin A. Now, I'm not talking about the vitamin A you get from vegetables. That's perfectly fine. I'm talking about vitamin A supplements. If you take these regularly, you could be setting yourself up for some serious issues. First off, it can cause liver damage. Your liver is your body's filter, and overloading it with excess vitamin A is like trying to push too much water through a coffee filter it's not going to end well. Vitamin A supplements can also lead to osteoporosis. Remember how we talked about calcium earlier? Well, too much vitamin A can actually work against your bone health, increasing your risk of fractures. But wait, there's more. Excess vitamin A can cause skin problems like dryness and cracking, and it can even mess with your head, causing irritability and confusion. Not exactly the fountain of youth we're looking for, is it? So, how do you get the vitamin A you need without the risks? Stick to natural sources. You can find vitamin A in cod liver oil, egg yolks, butter, and carrots. These natural forms are much safer and more easily regulated by your body. Unless your doctor specifically tells you to take vitamin A supplements, it's best to avoid them. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the supplements you actually should be taking as you age. These are the good guys, the ones that can help keep you healthy and vibrant as the years go by. First up, without a doubt, is magnesium. This mineral is a true powerhouse. It plays a protective role against calcification, especially in your arteries. It does this by regulating calcium metabolism, inhibiting the formation of calcium phosphate crystals, and having anti-inflammatory effects. But that's not all magnesium can do. 
It's great for lowering blood pressure, reducing those annoying muscle cramps, boosting your energy levels, improving your sleep quality, and even lowering your cortisol levels. That's a lot of bang for your buck from one little mineral. Next on our must-have list is vitamin D3. Now, I can't stress enough how important this one is. Most people in the Western world are simply not getting enough vitamin D, whether from food or sun exposure. We spend so much time indoors, in offices, away from natural sunlight. And let's face it, vitamin D isn't found naturally in many foods. You can get it from fatty fish, liver, and egg yolks, but if you're on a strict vegan or vegetarian diet, your options are even more limited. So, what's the solution? A good vitamin D3 supplement. Taking about 4,000 IU of vitamin D3 per day is roughly equivalent to sunbathing for 20 minutes two or three times a week, depending on where you live and your skin type. It's a simple and effective way to make sure you're getting enough of this crucial vitamin. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The next vitamin I'm going to recommend is vitamin K2. This one works hand in hand with vitamin D3. Think of them as a dynamic duo. D3 helps your body absorb calcium, while K2 guides that calcium to where it needs to go your bones. This prevents calcium from building up in places where you don't want it, like your arteries or joints. But K2 isn't just about calcium management. It also helps increase energy production in your mitochondria in the form of ATP. That's like giving each of your cells a little energy boost. Next up is good old vitamin C. You probably know it for its antihistamine properties, which can be a real lifesaver during allergy season. But did you know that people with high levels of vitamin C in their blood have been shown to have a lower incidence of certain types of cancer, like stomach cancer? That's pretty impressive. Now, you might be wondering about natural versus synthetic vitamin C chemically, they're identical and have the same biological effectiveness. However, vitamin C from natural sources may be better absorbed by your body. That said, synthetic vitamin C can be given in higher doses if necessary, so both have their place. Last, but certainly not least on our list of recommended supplements is vitamin B12. This one is absolutely crucial, especially as we age. If you're over 50, you should definitely be taking this. Here's why. As we get older, our stomachs produce less acid. This might sound like a good thing if you've ever suffered from heartburn, but it actually reduces our ability to absorb vitamin B12 from food. To make matters worse, some medications like proton pump inhibitors, those gastric protectors like omprazole, can further decrease B12 absorption by reducing stomach acidity even more. On top of that, as we age, we often change our eating habits. We might start consuming less of the foods that are rich in B12, like meat, fish, and dairy products. All of this adds up to a perfect storm for B12 deficiency. And trust me, you don't want to be B12 deficient. It can lead to all sorts of problems, including cognitive impairment, neuropathy, and anemia. None of those are fun to deal with, especially as we're trying to stay healthy and active in our golden years. So, there you have it, folks. The supplements to avoid calcium, iron, and vitamin A. And the ones to embrace, magnesium, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, vitamin C, and vitamin B12. Remember, while supplements can be a great addition to your health regimen, they're not a substitute for a balanced diet and healthy lifestyle. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement, especially if you're taking medications or have existing health conditions. Don't forget to subscribe for more health content like this. Until next time, stay healthy, stay curious, and keep taking care of that wonderful body of yours. See you in the next video.